بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Shyness is an attribute of the believer, of Iman. It's a part of Iman, as the Prophet ﷺ said. And shyness is a ni'mah and a favor, favorite characteristic of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he blesses his slave with. The Prophet ﷺ said, عن عمران بن حسين رضي الله تعالى عنه مقال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الحياء لا يأتي إلا بخير متفق عليه. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that الحياء shyness only is only good. It only comes with goodness. Letting us know that shyness is a characteristic of the believer. It's a characteristic we all hope to possess if we don't have something of that. However, unfortunately, in many of the societies in this time, in this day and age, and amongst many people, that shyness becomes looked down on as, as something that is not praiseworthy. That a person who's shy is not outgoing, they're not productive, and they're not going to get anything done because they're too shy. But in Islamic terms, according to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it only comes with khair. That haya is a part of the man. And it's a part of goodness. So it's a characteristic which is praiseworthy and beloved to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and beloved to Allah. And whatever Allah loves and whatever the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loves, is praiseworthy. This is what the believer wants to attain. Some of that shyness. Some of that beautiful mannerisms. And as we said on countless occasions, you know, we want to have those characteristics that Islam encourages us to have. So if the Prophet says shyness only comes with khair, then we know that that's true and we know that shyness is something we want to have and observe and be careful guys here that along with that we know that we realize from that that those are the ma the, the manners that the believer should try to to have and strive for that having shyness is part of those beautiful attributes of the mu'min. Al-haya min al-iman. Al-haya min al-iman. That shyness, it's from iman. It's from those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the people of Iman and belief and bless us to be of those who observe the ayats of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reading the Quran, contemplating, reflecting on the Quran at the same time the blessings of being and observing his creation. This is beautiful. We hiked up to the top of this mountain and to this lake and this is one of the wondrous creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we can contemplate, we can reflect and see his beautiful creation and remember Allah much. Allah kathira. Dhakar Allah kathira. Remember Allah much. Remember his name. Praise him. Because he's the one who created all of this. All of this was not created in haste. It was not a, a, something wasteful. But as Allah says, I have not created man and, and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. All this right here which is before us, this peace and tranquility that we can gain out here in such a beautiful place is for the remembrance of Allah. And we ask that Allah the Almighty accepts our good and forgives our evil, blesses us with al-nafi and ruskin tayyibu amal al-muttaqabbilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad 
وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم